How's it going today? I'm East Coast Pete and you're looking at Therion. This is a Swedish symphonic metal band founded by Christopher Johnson. This was in 1987. The name was inspired by Celtic Frost's album to Megatherium, which is Greek for the Great Beast, a title used by Aleister Crowley. They're considered pioneers of symphonic metal. They combine death metal and choirs, classical musicians, even a full orchestra. In 1989, Therian released two demos called Para Seas Paroximal Holocaust and Beyond the Darkness. Another demo, Time Will Tell, led to one album, a one album deal that is, with Def Records. The debut LP was Of Darkness in 1991, and it was dubbed Prod Metal but with hardcore punk politics. I mean lyrics. And they signed with Active Records in, for their second album, Beyond Sanctorum. It includes sparse, clean vocal, keyboards, and Persian folk with the usual death metal format. Occult themes inspired by H.P. Lovecraft and Cthulhu makes an appearance on track number three. If you don't know who Cthulhu is, he's like this giant Gandis elder god with an octopus face. <clears throat> and he's not very active at this moment. They say he's sleeping. But he could wake up. Could wait for that for a while. H.P. Lovecraft wrote back in the 30s. That's the 1930s. From 93 to 96, Therian combined doom metal with jazz, industrial, and religious chanting. Signed with Nuclear Blast in 94. And this is the album La Pacta Clifford. And the title refers to clips off a representation of evil or I'm impure thoughts in Jewish mysticism. <clears throat> the polar opposite of the seraphim, which is the tree of life. So this is the opposite of the tree of life. Maybe it's the, the roots of life. The single was The Beauty in Black. And it was a hit selling 12,000 copies in Europe. Death Metal is not even on this album. Therion is a full symphonic metal album 
Ellie went out in 1996, a likeness of the Egyptian god Set is on the sleeve. Siren of the Woods is the single. Sales of this album were doubled from the previous one. The next album, Voyager, was a Christopher Johnson solo album. Christopher Johnson is the main man here. But he put out this album as a serious project. Lovin in Enochian means dragon. And Enochian is a language that really is not well known. It has to do with Enochian magic hundreds of years ago. Point being, that's what this guy's into. Stuff from then. As it applies to now. Sales increased again. A hendigram is an 11 pointed star. And it represents the night side of the Kabbalah. So even the Tree of Light has a night side. And uh, this is it. <laughs> well, it's a representation. In 2012, Les Fleurs du Mal is sung completely in French and consists of the metal cover versions of French pop songs from the 60s and 70s in the yay yay genre. That's French, I guess, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be wee wee wee? I would call it yay yay. Pop song from the 60s, but this time with a metal background. I haven't heard it. I hope to soon. So what's next? A rock opera? Oh, yes. It is Luciferian Light Orchestra, Beloved Antichrist, Leviathan. These are all projects that are either available or will be once we get past this play. Pretty flicking break. A little knocking for ya. What do you know about the Sephiroth? This is blood of the Sephiroth is a grouping of globes, each representing a stopping point on the path from Malkuth to Kephrim. That means from here to the place of the Creator. And there's the left-hand path and the right-hand path. Coast Pete prefers the right-hand path. 
why? I don't want to mess around with all that black magic stuff. Apparently these guys don't seem to mind. A lot of their music is all about that. Occult magic. Black magic. Strangely, in the Sephiroth, if you go straight up the middle, the so-called gray path, you will fall into the eye, which is the pit that swallowed half of the archangels during the fall before the flood. And that's where they hang out. People on the left-hand path often call upon the denizens of the eye to perform certain deeds that they could be helpful with. There are many, many dupes of hell. People aren't dupes of hell. I'm not really sure that they are angels anymore. They certainly don't look like angels. One of them's got three arms and no body. I forget his name, but I saw him when I was a kid down in the cellar dark. Yes, I had an imagination when I was a kid. I probably should have said, hey there, Mr. Duke of Hell, could you help me out with some of these things that I'm going through? I have to go through puberty now and, you know, it's going to suck. Actually, it wasn't so bad after I got up into the upper reaches of puberty. Found out a few things. Met some people. Fell in love. And that made all the demons go away. You know, Alistair Crowley wanted all of us just to be able to find love. Find love under will. Maybe you could find out what that means to you. I'm pretty sure I understand what it means for me. Six, 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 the beast. The media calls them that. Just as today's media is misleading us. A lot of it is propaganda. You understand that? Propaganda. They just want to sell shit. Well not selling much shit now. Thank you for being with me. I'll be back with a 